Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Today is busy. Literally, I need to start <laughs> driving here to Belfast. I have a meeting right at 9.30, then I'm getting my nails done, and then it's the first event, proper event, since lockdown in general, and it's for Father's Day, so Patty's gonna meet me around too. So, busy day. I'm gonna bring you guys right off the bat. Hey Harper, waterproof jewelry, as always. I have one nail that like I bashed into Olive's car seat and it's like hanging on literally by a thread. Uh, my makeup is literally what I just did the last video, so makeup essentials, that's literally the same makeup if you're curious. Uh, Pre-mark blazer and the rest is new look, except for my shoes, which are Zara, no, H&M. I'll show you later. Okay, let's go. We have made it to Hollywood. Northern Ireland, <laughs> very much Northern Ireland. Uh, it's raining, ugh, whatever. I brought my hairbrush because I'm out all day and I'm wearing my Luxie hair extensions. These are the Seamless Conne Connection Collection in Blonde Balayage, so it's a mix of Ash Blonde, I believe, and Dirty Blonde, and it's literally the perfect match for my hair. I only wear like two clips just to get a little bit of fullness and length. Um, but I'm going into Joxer here, which is such a yummy restaurant. Oh my goodness, if you're in Northern Ireland, specifically the Belfast Hollywood Banger area, go to Joxer, it's so good. But I'm meeting up with a friend, Sarah Weir, and she has an event company called Weir Events. And we're gonna start planning my 30th birthday party. I am 100% um, a little extra when it comes to birthdays. I feel like I've always been like that. I always go a little bit all out for birthdays. Um, and it's my 30th, so why not? So we're gonna get together and chat. It does look massive. It is. Like, I'm I, not sure I will finish this, but this is the Joxer avocado toast. I was definitely expecting one piece, but it's just two with two eggs. Sarah got the same thing, but with poached. Looks incredible. Okay, are these not the cutest nails you have ever seen? I think they are probably, no, they definitely are my favorite ones ever. How cute, I got French on these ones and then a little dainty daisies on these two. And I think they're perfect. I'm obsessed. You're in a, a risky position, so you could fall, but I brought a little touch up because I was wearing a mask while getting my nails done for like two hours, so I need a little bit of a touch up here. Huda Beauty setting powder, very needed, a little oily, typical. Um, we are heading into the Fitzwilliam in Belfast because they asked me to come check out their Crafternoon tea. I know, I literally had to ask, what's, what's Crafternoon tea? <laughs> and basically they're promoting, trying to get promotion for it for Father's Day. So it's like a Father's Day version of afternoon tea. So there's like different craft beers, there's like fish and chips. It's like designed for the male audience. Um, although Patty totally loves afternoon tea, like just the regular afternoon tea. But I think I might <laughs> enjoy this more than him. Anyways, he's coming to meet me. Also, he let me know that our bed has arrived in our new bedroom. Ooh, I'm so excited to see that. And also some Venetian blinds that we're gonna put up. So that's exciting, but I'm just gonna, oh, got a little refluxy there. Um, just gonna touch up here. I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty pinky brown lip liner and just reapply. I think eye makeup is holding up well. I literally just use my bronzer and blush and then a little brown liner. And then for lipstick, I'm taking my Code 8 Beauty 566, five sex, as in S-E-C-S, -E like five seconds, <laughs> in off-brow dye. It's really pretty juicy pink. Doing my little trick. So I did my thumb, press, 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 to zhuzh up the blush. Just give a little bit more color and definition back into the face. Whenever I wear extensions, they just get a little bit tangly, and I didn't actually do my hair today. It's just leftover curls from like two days ago. I just popped in my extensions for a little bit more volume and zhuzh. I don't want to say zhuzh so much, <laughs> but this just kind of helps, you know, blend them a little bit better because it's a little bit windy out today and I've been walking. Also, meeting with Sarah was really good. She completely understands where I'm heading for this 30th birthday. I just want to make it fun, like something where there's good food, good atmosphere, and a, a game component to it. So 
she gets it okay i'm over like i used to always have to like have my bangs like perfect like right here and lately i've just been you know pushing them back a little bit so then they can just do what they want to do and it kind of gives a little bit more hoop hoop de hoo <laughs> like this. here okay that's as good as it's gonna get people Let's go ahead and get some afternoon tea. I'm telling Patty that I bought a reusable mask for six pounds. There's a lot in the car. You look really tanned right now. Did you put a little bit of, a little bit of hishi, Saint Tropez, Vita de Brada, hishi? Mm. Well, we're at the Fitzwilliam, beautiful hotel here in Belfast. We've stayed a couple of times. <gasps> Patty, no feet on the couch. And we're having the afternoon tea. So. I, I was saying before that it's more targeted towards me, probably, because I think you would prefer afternoon tea. <laughs> no, just tea and coffee. <laughs> would you recommend? Out of ten? Wait, eight? <laughs> Five? <laughs> ten? Well, we did pretty good. It's basically all gone. I wouldn't recommend if you're trying to stay alert in the afternoon. Yeah, we only had a drink each because... Very sleepy. Yeah, but sure, it was perfect on a Sunday if someone else is driving. I can't get over how tan you are. <laughs> you look so much like Oscar. <laughs> no more sad eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Little change of scenery. I'm back with Nora. It has been... What, five, six weeks? Yeah. And we're gonna do some micro needling. So my face looks nice and fresh right now, but afterwards it looks like I've been through a zombie apocalypse. So stay tuned, but it really helps with scarring and pigmentation tremendously. So it's worth it. All right, you guys need to trust the process. Looks like I got a little bit of sun on vacation, but the redness goes away, and in the morning, my skin will be nice and glowy and bright. Can I see the glow through the redness, but I'm gonna go home now so no one can see me like this. Big news in the development of the new master. We have beautiful new floors. We went for Amtico in here as well. We have it in the rest of our house. Sandy is showcasing it for us. This is a different color and layout than the rest of our house though. This is Eden Oak in a wider, longer plank. There's a plane going over us right now. And the rest of our house is Featured Oak in a shorter, smaller one in Herringbone. So I just wanted it to be linear in here and I'm so pleased with it. Patty's about to put up some Venetian blinds from Block Blinds. So if you guys have seen in previous vlogs, Block Blinds have done our blackout blinds in the kids' rooms and they are incredible. Literally 10 minutes to install and L10 gets you 10% off. This is their newest product though that they sent over which is Venetian blinds, cordless Venetian blinds as well too. So we're putting some right there and in our utility room over there. Um, but the bed was delivered today and it's beautiful. I ordered it eight weeks ago from sofa.com. It's the Amelia Super King and the color of the wood is literally perfect because there's so many tones in the flooring, it just picks it up so beautifully. We're gonna be putting our big rug underneath it anyways, but I'm so pleased with it. And then the back headboard here is in clay basket weave. So it has a little bit of warmth. It's like a, oh, it has two tones in it. You can see it's like a beige and like a dark grayish. So it just blends beautifully with warm, the warm white we have everywhere in the room, which is on the ceiling and the walls. Uh, white 03 from Lick. But I'm just so pleased with that. And then on here, if it decides to focus, you guys know the wardrobes are going in. They're going in on Monday, so next week I'll update you on that. And then Olaf is coming back, um, who did all our tiling. He's done our um, shelving, island, tiles in the kitchen. He's just our handyman. 
he's gonna price out slat, a slat wall here just to divide the room up a little bit and also two big um, wooden shelves there for um, decor because that's really just a boxed out, there's no purpose to like the bottom half, it was just to box out some pipes and stuff. Um, and then I'm gonna actually go put the tall mirror we have in our bedroom over here for a little bit of light. It's coming together, people. He closed the hatch too early. <laughs> um, um, um. <laughs> Forgot to show you guys my little thrift finds yesterday. It was from a little thrift shop in Castle Court. This little like white cream with gold accessory belt was 50p. This leather beige like double wrap around that ties, it really cinches in your waist was also 50p. I'll style these so you can get a better idea of them but I was looking for beige white belts so that was a great find. And then this coat, it will fit Olive first but I thought of Oscar wearing it with the little like quilted shoulder pads, the green and camel kind of color with the plaid inside also with a detachable hood. I thought it was so cute and it's like really warm. This was seven pounds. Super cute, it looks like one of those um, barber jackets. So really happy about that. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Do you need help? Here you go. Do you need help? He is going so fast now, and you can see all the little bumps and bruises he gets from either crawling into a door or maybe misplacing a hand and hitting something. But his big sister is very good at uh, warning him. <laughs> I quickly washed my hair and put a mask in because I'm gonna do like a good scrub tonight before my tan. Um, and then I'll take like a hair shower tomorrow, but I just wanted to put a mask in, leave it in overnight, wash it out in the morning, and then have like nice, fresh, clean hair for the weekend away because I don't really like using, well, I don't know where I'm going, if it is a hotel <laughs> um, or Airbnb, not sure, their shampoo and conditioner. I feel like it's never as like hydrating. It's not what my hair needs. So I'm just gonna take care of it prior and hopefully, <laughs> That holds up until Sunday. Should. There's always a tight ponytail, right? Never showed you my guys, my guys, my skin. <laughs> showed you guys my skin um, after microneedling. Yeah. Look how like fresh and glowy it is. And this is like four o'clock the next day. And it's been a day with these guys. <laughs> but it's just really glossy and fresh. And it really helps take away the you know, darkness of a scar or pigmentation just helps renew the skin. So it almost has to like, ru not ruin, that's the wrong word, but like <laughs> ruin the skin so it rebuilds, if that makes sense. So it's not the most enjoyable treatment, but it does rebuild the skin and it just makes it stronger and healthier and glowier. I gotta go. Are you happy now? High five. Oh, kisses, kisses. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Do you love my nails? They're so pretty, aren't they? Patty still has yet to tell me where we're going in the morning. I just finished a live doing my nighttime skincare routine. This is my skin at the moment. It is thriving. Ever since I've been exclusively using Skinition, it's been incredible. I still get my, mm, it's like bi-monthly microneedling, microneedling by Nora, and then my JS Health Supplements. It's the cocktail for my skin. It's been incredible. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna be vlogging this weekend wherever we go, if it's in a tent, if it's in a hotel, who knows? He did tell me a city, so I brought some nice outfits. So who knows, who Arma. knows, but. Arma has a city. Oh my God. Anyways. <laughs> Stay tuned because I will vlog this weekend and hopefully it's fun. It will be fun because Patty and I haven't. I was trying to think when's the last time we've done something just the two of us, Patty? Um, like just the two of us. It, well, like two years ago? Over two years ago. No. 
A year ago, I gave birth, so definitely not. I know, but Mama last... would have looked after Olive. I know, but when's the last time we went somewhere for like a night, just us two? I would have been pregnant. No. Well, lockdown, before lockdown was Florida, so it was at least a year and a half. A week. Minimum a year and a half. No. Yep, think about it. So it will be very exciting to just have adult time. We brought our books. Ooh, okay, enough rambling. I'll vlog it, so we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.